So, while waiting for the release date of Pokemon X and Y, October comes faster, damn you. I've been surfing the net to keep myself occupied till that damn release date. You know I'm looking at you, Pokemons. Eventually, I stumble upon a YouTube challenge of a Nuzlocke run-through of something called Pokemon Statewood. Well, not really knowing any better, I decided to give it a go. And my honest opinion of this game is like heroin. It will fuck your shit up. But you'll feel great while doing it. Let's take a look at shall we? To clarify, this is a hacked ROM game of Pokemon Ruby, so it's not an official Game Freak game. Oh, I know. So scary, right? But by far it is the greatest piece of fan art I have ever seen. Let's just take a look at the intro, shall we? See? It looks pretty normal so far. Did, 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 did that guy just have an afro? <laughs> Fucking... Yeah. Ah, uh, my favorite, Pokemon Ruby. Let's, uh, and who's that? Yeah. Let's find out and not keep rambling, shall we? So, with a little explaining, the protagonist, I mean you, Billy, wakes up at a decimated little root town. All the homes are gone, and he has no memories. Because that concept is so original. Reading the city signs, it normally reads until you get to the part written in blood. Uh? Oh. Oh! It's a sign of the zombie apocalypse! No? No puns? <sighs> Fuck you guys. Fine. Moving right along. And like any Pokemon game, certain aspects carry through. Like you cannot go into certain places or towns until you get at certain items or certain things. And the first of which, you can't go into the wild without a Pokemon. So let's get one, shall we? As you have probably already guessed, the three Pokeballs are your starter options. And are they a treat? A ball toy, a coughing, and a Paris. I suggest picking the Paris because there is a fuck ton of darkness Pokemon that will mercilessly rape your face. I made the mistake of picking Ball Toy, and this is the only Pokemon game that I have not used my starter all the way through, or even fully evolved. Once you pick your Pokemon, you'll be allowed to leave, <laughs> and that's when the fun starts. You see a familiar face being attacked by a zombie. After beating the zombie Pokemon and the zombie, the zombie trainer crumbles into dust, and you save Professor Birch. You later learn from Birch that your brother, who beat the Pokemon League three years ago, and his daughter May have vanished trying to stop the zombie apocalypse. And since you're such a loving and caring brother, you go looking for him. That's the basic plot of this game. And I won't go into too much details related to the plot because you gotta go on that roller coaster yourself. You travel through a decimated Hoenn in which there is less option for you to fly later due to details of destruction or other rider conveniences. Well, program conveniences. There is no more Lava Ridge Town, and there are two new cities of Shaka Monastery and Fort Draco, both of which just took the place of pre existing towns. Anyhow, before I get ahead of myself, I, I just want to point out one itty bitty thing. I want to warn you of this bitch. This fucking bitch right here has caused me so much headaches. If this is your first time playing this game, and you're not particularly fond of level grinding, get used to seeing this text right here. But as hard as this game is, it is equally as hilarious, entertaining, and rewarding. Because let's face it, there's nothing more just amazing than when you finally beat that trainer or boss that you're stuck on. This game provides you with that awesome feeling time and time again. Despite several parts of bad programming, yeah, yeah, looking, at you, looking at you, this game is amazing. And I would recommend this game to any Poke fan out there because while it has Pokemon, it is for a more grown-up crown. I would honestly pay to 20 Five to thirty bucks for this game, but since it's fan art, it's free. Big applause to you, good sir. Bravo. Just I'll be posting another video on a few of the puzzles that just drove me insane, so you don't have to go through the same hell that I did. Anyhow, guys, this is Travis from the Daily Nacho, wishing you Pokefans good luck, and October, get here faster.